but today is the day we're gonna tackle this mantle. I wanna get my mantle decorated. I do it basically the same every year because I have the most beautiful nativity and I like to use it every year and this is really the only place I have for it, which is fine because it is all about Jesus. So I love to make him the focal point and I love our fireplace. I've been piddling with the bookcases, not finished with those, but I already know how I'm gonna do my mantle, but I'm gonna add different pieces to it this year that I haven't done in the past to kinda of make it blend in with my Christmas tree when I get it decorated because I am gonna be doing like the sugar fruits and the golds and the coppers. So I thought, since I already know how I'm gonna do this, you know, without, I really don't know exactly 100% because I'm gonna add different pieces to it, but you know what I'm saying, overall I know what's going on my mantle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it and show you how I do it. Now, I am gonna show you a trick that I learned and I've been using it, this will be like, I think my third year. Third year? Yeah. Um, and I learned it from watching Leslie over at A Charm and Abode on how to put your garland on your fireplace um, without you know, putting hooks and stuff like that into it. Um, I would use the command hooks, but I've never had really great success with that. And the garland I'm using is so heavy. It's from Hobby Lobby. I got it a couple years ago and I love it. I use it for fall and for Christmas. So I get a lot of use out of it and it's still beautiful. So when I seen this tip that she give, let me, let me grab the board I'm talking about. So this is what I use to put my mantle, I mean, to put my garland on my mantle. I have a board that, it's just a scrap board. I did stain it the same color as the mantle. Not that you see it, but I do believe that it, it does help to camouflage it. And then ever so often, I drilled in some screws. It's dusty, it's been in the attic, I need to wipe it off. But anyway, I just drilled some screws in there and then you literally lay this here and you use the screws to intertwine your garland and it works like a dream. Now, another thing I did, uh, she didn't show us this, but I did it last year and let me show you. I used another scrap board and I put a screw on the end, one in the center and one on this end. And I used it like this, the other end, oh, you can't even see it, I'm sorry. And it kind of held my stockings and I had some bales and different things. But again, it's just scrap wood. I stained the match the mantle. But I'm not, I'm probably not gonna be using this this year. I'm not putting up stockings this year. I just, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> we never use them anyway. So I'm not even gonna fold stockings this year. So let me get my garland in place and show you how well this works. I absolutely love this. I was so happy whenever, um, I seen her show this. So let me get this wiped off and get my garland put on here. So this is the garland I got from Hobby Lobby. It's beautiful. It looks so real y'all. I'm telling you, this is the realest looking fake garland I've seen. But anyway, I got it when I got it, it was, you know, 50% off, and I think I paid like $25 for it. I'm not sure what they're asking for it this year. Now, normally, I do asymmetrical. I will do it here and let it flow off to the side, but I may actually try to um, center it on my mantle this year. So, let me try that and see if I like it. We can always change it, right?
it all coming forward because my nativity is gonna be up here, so I want it not to be hid. So I do have some extra pieces that I'm gonna put in here, but first I'm gonna go ahead, well, let's see. Mm. I have some of these, these like frosted pines. They did come from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. They were $4.99 at the time. I couldn't tell you what they are now, but I'm just gonna kind of put these in sporadically. And once I get all of my greenery like I want it, then I will go in and add my lights. Um, but let me add a few of these pieces in here. Mm -hmm. So now I just have some extra pine pieces. I'm going to go in and fill in some white. This is a naked spot I'm not really liking. So I'll just kind of Okay, now that I'm kind of semi, uh, let's see. I was gonna say now that I'm semi happy with that, but I may put this one like right here in the center. Just because I think it needs something. Okay. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to take my little lights that I had on my mantle at Thanksgiving. Lord, if I can get them untangled. Oh no. It's a tangled up mess. Okay. Do y'all see this tangled up mess of lights? I'm going to attempt to untangle them and add them to my mantle. I love these lights because they are the, the little fairy lights, but they plug in. And I have a cord up here and I love that I'm able to plug them in and then I don't have to worry about batteries and all that stuff. Now I did get these off of Amazon. I highly recommend them. This is the, they come in a set of two and I think they come in a set of two. Maybe they don't. Anyway, this is the second order of these I've placed because I misplaced my first order, but I'm gonna need them. I'll find them while I'm doing all of this. But let me get these lights untangled and then we'll get them added to the mantle. That was an ordeal, but they're so pretty and they're so worth it. So I'm gonna get these strung all in the garland and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, we have lights and I love it. So now I'm going to get my nativity set up and then I'll be able to know more where I wanna put some things in my garland. So let me get my nativity set up. of wood that I use to elevate um, the different 
figures in the nativity and I've stained them the color of my mantle in case they get seen, but they're probably not gonna be seen. But I'm just gonna wait and use these once I pull out, you know, Mary and Joseph and all that. And just see, I, I may have to flatten this down some more. Um, we'll have to see. skirt in the summer and it didn't work out because it was falling apart and I kept it because I knew I would use it for my nativity so here it is I'm just gonna kind of like oh my lord I'm making a mess just scatter it back here One last thing I need to do is I have this little light requires a battery. So let me see. You're not making a mess when you Christmas decorate. Are you really decorating? <laughs> Y'all, look, I've got such a mess. So I'm gonna clean all of this up and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna tweak the garland and add some pieces to it. Okay, I have another big thing of bells that I can't find yet. I will find them and when I find them, I'm gonna add them to this end of the mantle. But I did pick up three of these and I thought about when I got them, sticking them in the mantle uh, I'm gonna try that and we'll see. I don't know if it's gonna work. I've never used these before in it, so. Um, I did get these from Hobby Lobby this year. If I don't use them here, I'll use them somewhere. But I thought it would add like a nice richness to the mantle. So, here we go. remember I spray painted these. I spray painted one copper, I spray painted one gold, and I think I'm gonna cut off some pieces and just stick it like sporadically in here. Maybe just 
the gold, not the copper. So I got all of my shelves decorated and I thought I would share with y'all, share how they look with y'all real quick. <laughs> um, here is the, this shelf. I changed the print on the bookshelf to a winter scene, added a little tree in the copper pot and I think it is so cute. Then I didn't do anything to this shelf except just add, take out the fern and add the Christmas trees. This shelf is that little box that I thrifted. All those bells are thrifted. Basically everything on this shelf is thrifted except the little chickens and the pine cones because um, the little chickens came from Target Dollar Spot and the little pine cones came from Hobby Lobby, but everything else is thrifted on this shelf. Well, this greenery is not, <clears throat> but the greenery that's spray painted and this is thrifted. And then up here, I just added a book, that little thrifted clear glass container with my mercury ball ornaments, my print, some pine and pine cones in my platter. And that's what that looks like. And then up here, I swapped sides. The chicken used to be on this side, but I swapped sides for a reason. And um, I kind of simplified it and just added some trees. And I think it looks so cute. But because I did this scene here, this is the shelf that the little silver teapot used to be on and I swapped it. So on the other uh, bookcase, this teapot was on the top. So I just swapped it so it wouldn't be two teapots on the same side. <laughs> so that's why I changed that. Um, but that's what that looks like. And then we've shown, I've shown y'all the mantle. And then this is the shelf. All I did was bring back out my beautiful red dishes that my sweet friend Cindy sent me. Added some green pine, some pine cones. That's one of those hydrangeas that I spray painted. And that's what that looks like. This shelf is probably my favorite. I love it. And everything on here is thrifted with the exception of this greenery and the pine cones. Everything else is thrifted. This shelf, I love it as well. I left the arrangement I had in it for fall because I thought it worked well for Christmas too. I did add the gold uh, greenery that I painted gold. My print, and that's what it looks like. On this shelf, this is my other print, some books. Everything is thrifted on this shelf with the exception of this greenery, the pine cones, and that's it. Everything else is thrifted. And then this is the top shelf. And I just added a little tree to the champagne. Uh, what is that called? I can't remember. I'm, I'm, going, I'm drawing blanks. 
and my chicken. And then that candle picture behind it, I thrifted it and it actually like lights up. But because I have the lights on the bookcases, you can't really tell it, but I do like the way it looks. So I just added it as a backdrop and that's what it looks like. And I think it, it's beautiful. Now, um, I do have a little pillow that I'm gonna get to put in this rocking chair. I may do away with the quilt for Christmas just because um, doing the kind of the Victorian, I don't know. I may just like fold it over to the other side. I don't know. Um, but here's my chair. Y'all please ignore that in the background. That's going to the booth. And that's what this looks like. All right, y'all, here is my mantle for Christmas 2023. I know that it's basically the same as I've done it every year, but I did change it slightly by putting the garland, you know, spread it out equally across. Instead of doing asymmetrical, I'm not doing stockings this year. We never use them and I'm just, I'm not doing that. Um, and I did add a few different picks into the garland but I will always, always, as long as I have this nativity, this will be the focal point in our home because Jesus is the reason for this beautiful season that we're about to enter. And so I will always use this. Now I did have plans. I was gonna add some other things to the end of it, but I forgot how large this nativity is. And so I just didn't have the room, but that's okay. We'll do something else with those items I was gonna use. But. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. I hope this gives you some ideas, some inspiration, or maybe just puts you in the mood. So until the next time, bye y'all.